marketplace investigation has led now to the arrest of dozens of scammers in India. Well, let me tell you, this is a clear case of cyber fraud where your information has been compromised. Do you know that in the last five years, over 85% of international scam cases traced back to India, which has damaged India's reputation big time. Scammers from India are making headlines worldwide and it's destroying the image of Indians in the world. YouTube channels like the Scam Baiter and the Scammer Payback expose countless scams on their channels and almost every video on these channels mentions one city, Kolkata. The name has been synonymous with scams in the minds of millions of people worldwide. These YouTubers call out these scammers from India, especially Kolkata, trace their locations and even get them to confess on camera. India, a country with 1.4 billion people, is unfortunately becoming infamous for the scams targeting foreigners from countries like the US, Canada and the UK. This negative image is especially unfair for the millions of honest trying to build their successful careers in IT, customer service and other industries in a foreign country like the US. They are the ones who suffer the most from the actions of a tiny percentage of bad people in India. Our tech industry is one of the fastest growing in the world, contributing over $245 billion to the economy in 2023. Yet the stigma of being associated with the scams undermine these achievements. The negative perception about the Indians not only hurts India's reputation but also impacts our economy as foreign companies become wary of outsourcing their services to Indian firms. According to data from FBI, US citizens have lost more than $10 billion to call centers running scams in India. And it's just not limited to the US. Reports indicate that globally, Indian scammers have swindled around $20 billion in the last few years alone. While the financial losses are immense, the human cost is even more significant. Many of the victims in these countries are elderly living on a fixed income. They lose their savings in an instant, often falling into depression or worse. A victim 82-year-old woman, Florida, lost $50,000 in a tech support scam in India. These scam centers often operate under the guise of a startup or customer service call center, offering tech support to unsuspecting victims. Once they gain the victim's trust, they scam them into sharing their personal details and gain access to their bank accounts. The rise of these scam call centers isn't just a coincidence, it's the result of a perfect storm, rapid technological growth, high unemployment and a lack of oversight. Let's go back to where it all began. For many young Indians, these call centers offered big money which only a few other jobs could. But there's a catch, it was a dirty money. They weren't selling products or services, they were selling lies. Imagine being trapped in a job where you know what you're doing is wrong but you feel like you don't have any other choice. Many of these scammers are just teenagers or young college dropouts with no legitimate job seduced by easy money. The people who run the call centers are the real villains. But these scams aren't just about the money. They're about something much more damaging. Reputation of Indians Every news story, every headline about another Indian scam reinforces a negative stereotype against Indians. Before becoming the IT hub of the world, sadly, we are seen as tech scammers. Tourism, another pillar of India's economy, is also feeling the pressure. Travelers, especially from the West, are becoming increasingly cautious about visiting India. Every negative experience adds up. One bad review turns into hundreds and so on. India is seen as a risky destination. According to the World Travel and Tourism Council, there was a 10% drop in international tourist arrivals to India in 2022. Business confidence is taking a hit. Companies that once saw India as a land of opportunity are now hesitant to invest, to operate their business in India. Fortunately, there's a fight back underway, a fight to reclaim India's reputation, to shut down these scam operations for the good. Indian authorities have raided over 300 call centers across the country, arresting more than 1,000 individuals involved in these scams. The crackdowns are making headlines, but they are also sending a powerful message. India will not tolerate this. These raids have led to dismantling several major scam networks. One operation in Kolkata alone resulted in the seizure of assets worth over $50 million. But while these victories are significant, the battle is far from over. Police is urging the public to stay vigilant, reporting suspicious activities, educating the vulnerable, and staying informed are the key to keeping these scammers at bay. But it's not just about cracking down, it's about prevention. Education and awareness are critical. There are better ways to make a living. 
honest ways. Stories of redemption are emerging. Like a young man who was offered high paying job at a scam call center but chose instead to join a startup. He knew his skills could be used for the good, to build something meaningful rather than destroy someone's life. India's youth hold the key to its future. With the right guidance and opportunities, we can transform our image from one tainted by the scams to one of innovation and integrity. India's youth holds the key to its future. With the right guidance and opportunities, they can transform the country's image from one tainted by scams to one of innovation and integrity. The government, businesses and we all have a role to play in restoring India's image. If you liked my video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.